Number two, very important, uh, right after Typhoon Haiyan, Gawad Kalinga embarked on a fundraising campaign and in the spirit of transparency, we will be reporting the results of that fundraising campaign as well as future activities planned for the rebuilding of those villages. Uh, so I'm the uh, bean counter. So we, we count, uh, I haven't counted so much money in my whole life, but <laughs> it just shows you how successful the campaign was. Um, but you know, talking about bean counters, uh, there was an accountant that went to a store that wanted to buy carrots. <clears throat> and uh, so the store owner lined up three carrots, and, but all with different prices. So the, he looked at the first carrot, the cheapest, was, you know, 500 bucks. So, you know, he asked the store owner, what makes this uh, parrot just 500 bucks? Well, you know, uh, he can do a simple audit. You know, so he costs only 500 bucks. Oh, so the second one uh, costs uh, 1,500. So uh, what can this guy do? You know, that's three times more. Oh, he can do complex audits. He can do financial planning. <coughs> he can do your. Uh, he can talk to the CRA as well and help you with your tax planning. Oh, it's fantastic! Wow, but this guy is. Super expensive, five thousand bucks. So um, you know what makes that special? Well, I really don't know what he can do," said the store owner. But these two parents, you know, they call him the senior partner. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, well, in our group, I'm the account. Well, I have a we have an accountant uh, that's Esther who helps me uh, over there, who uh, is in the registration. Um, but I'm also the accountant and. Uh, so uh, we don't have any senior partners. <laughs> we do all the work. Anyway, I, I, I'm happy to announce that as of yesterday, we have collected in uh, total uh, that we have received in funds two hundred over two hundred seventy thousand five hundred dollars already, uh, and we started this campaign in uh, just immediately after the typhoon, so uh, about the second week. Uh, of November of last year. So uh, $270,500 was collected as of yesterday. On top of that, we have close to about $96,500 in pledges. Uh, so a total, if all of these pledges are collected, uh, we will have a total of $367,000 as of yesterday. And this $367,000 will build a total of 105 homes. Okay. And uh, our plan is to build this, most of this will be in, uh, in, in Leyte. So uh, as, as of now, again as of yesterday, we have just found a site and we have already signed an agreement with our partner, Gawad Kalina Philippines, for a site in Palo Leyte. Uh, and in Palo Leyte, we can build uh, 40, actually 60 homes could be built in Palo Leyte, but 20 homes were already built by Gawad Kalinga Philippines coming from other dome donations. So they kept 40 uh, homes for us to build in Palo. Where they came from, uh, all of these came from 849 donors. Uh, obviously the biggest bulk of them, 796, came from individuals. Uh, 45 came from companies, 5 from associations, and 3 from foundations. But I'm also glad to say that majority of all of these donations in terms of amount uh, came from uh, really the non-Filipino side. We, we have never received so much uh, interest in donating coming from mainstream Canada. Uh, including corporations, including you know, non-Filipino organizations. Uh, and uh, in fact, why are we here in this uh, venue is because we have a very big supporter uh, from the uh, Japanese Cultural Center as well. Um, you know, so. but, but Sid was very helpful in giving us uh, this place uh, this afternoon. But yes, it was uh, an overwhelming uh, 
success in the sense that we were able to reach out to not just our Filipinos, who clearly was, is always and will always be there. Uh, but we eventually got uh, the, uh, the mainstream Canadians uh, coming in. In fact, I remember one, one afternoon that Francis, myself, and Agnes, the three directors, uh, were in, uh, where was that then? Windham, uh, Windham. Uh, recognize this in our books was it was donated by an individual. But frankly, we probably had more than five associations that helped, uh, more than five groups uh, and companies that helped. It was in fact uh, one company, uh, One King West, that also, uh, this is the hotel in uh, downtown, that also uh, brought and matched the contributions made by employees of all of the hotels in Toronto. And they were just saying that about 50% of most of the employees uh, in hotels are actually Filipinos. So they had a fundraising, and any amount that was raised uh, from the Filipinos, uh, they actually matched it. Uh, 